pencils oh. down. That's it. Pencils down. Mm. There it is. There we go. Uh, and thank you. Uh, 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 thank you. Another uh, ramble in uh, the books. Pencils down. Uh, That's how it. about that? Here you go. Here you go. There it is. Wiping our hands of ramble 376. We're clean of it. It's over done. in the history books. 376 done. is done. Done. We don't even care. We don't even care. The, like, uh, we wanted to hear more. It's too. It's over. In it's the rear over. view. In the rear view. Three or three seventy six is done. That's it. There's we're we're else. focused on three seventy seven now. There That's it is. Nothing else. Is. Nothing. You know what? You know how crazy we're getting here. You ready? How? You ready for this? We're gonna pretend okay. Cody's hit the music. I'm already gonna start singing the fucking. Oh, That's dude. it. We're done. There wow. it is. There Look it is. You. If you know the words, sing along. Out of touch. Out of reach. Yeah. You could try. To get closer to me. Is the finger condom going on every finger in on the planet right now? Snap. I'm in snap, love. Snap. Snap. I'm in deep, yeah. Uh, uh, Hypnotized. Uh, uh, I'm shaking to my knees. Mm, mm, mm. I got a note tonight. Don't even have to lick it, man. Don't even, Are you alone don't even tonight? have to lick it. Can't stop this mm. feeling. Hope you put Can't a towel down. Can't stop this fire. I get hysterical. Hysteria. Oh, can you feel it? Do you mm. believe it? It's such a magical, mysteria. When you get that feeling, better stop believing. Because it's a miracle. Oh, say you will, ooh, babe. Stereo when mm. you're near. Mm. Bam. There it is. And we're Dude. done. Dude. With what What extra time? What else can we do for extra time? Uh, if, if you weren't with someone to finger during that, then you need to be fingering yourself. Exactly. I, what else is there to say? I mean, <laughs> that's... If you, let's just, let's, if you can't find a partner, uh, finger a wooden chair. I mean, <laughs> is that our title so far? You can't if find you, a partner, finger a wooden chair. Oh, let's let's rock. <laughs> Ramble three seventy six. If you can't find a partner, finger a wooden chair. <laughs> there it is, huh? Huh? Oh, you Eddie, know I'm. Like, I, I'm what, go for it. Go, go, no, no, it. go, go. No, no, no. No, no I was just it. saying because on, on Ramble Radio, I, yeah. you know, I built Devastator. Devastator was built on Devastator what is now built, and I'm, maybe the most listened to po- episode of a podcast in ever is what that probably. one was. It tops, I, don't I think, think anything I don't even think it's that's close. ever been recorded. Yeah. And when, then on once, this one. Oh, no. What is Vol- <laughs> oh, my God. Are you going to be able to even. Oh, my Voltron God. One. The car. Voltron 1. The cars. Cartron. Cartron. This is. Wow. That's all those. That's see, I have, uh, of course, I have this guy. Yeah. And this is what I'm going to build. Does never Cart- this guy. Never saw. Don't know who this guy was. These those look like Voltron losers. Three. Now, does, three. Car, does Car Voltron beat Lion Voltron? Straight up. It's bigger. It's now, bigger. here's what I don't remember about Car Voltron. Was it the same people? No, different people. Like, Pidge had, like, isn't in that motherfucker, is he? Like, all, see all these cars? Yeah, that's insane. They all had people in them. The Lions that's only crazy. had... Four or five? Five. That's it. Wow. Wow. So I'm going to attempt to build that. Are you going to be able to pay attention to the show? I think so. We'll this see. seems like this, this is going to be too taxing. I, I mean, I'm we not trying this. to naysay this, this, Eddie. We can do this. I my can do this. goodness. What? What a task. What a Herculean task we have ahead of you. We We apologize for all the squishy styrofoam sounds to those who are just listening. There it is. Or or who are watching. Direction? Don't need them. Don't need them. Throwing them. Throwing them. By the way, I don't know if you knew this. You can email us, ramble at theramblepod.com. We're on Twitter at Podcast Ramble, the number one. Instagram at Podcast Ramble. Sure. YouTube on the Ramble Team. We have merch, our merch page, T Public. We're still at 141 five star rating. Seahawks 1987, back on top, awaiting any and all challengers. So whoever wants to take a shot at the crown, five times. Now, right. Now's your time. You, it's there. The crown is there. It's open. Come get it. Mm. Come Mm-mm. get it. Come and get it. Come and get it. So, so I saw a really good movie the other night. 
What'd you see? It's called Let the Right One In. Have you heard of this? Oh, it's a great movie. Yeah, I've seen I've seen the this... original. I saw the American version. Both of them now, are great. Cody said the American one's only like 0.2% not as good as the Swedish. Like they're both great, supposedly. It's the same. It's basically that they just remade the same movie in English. It's not, they didn't do a lot. They of didn't change too much. Different shit. Cause so. see, I, I, read, I love both of them. I read the book and yeah. I didn't get far because I bought it. I bought it in its native Swedish tongue. So I, I, <laughs> I, I that was a tough read. It's a tough. That's a tough read. You got to learn like, Swedish. Yeah, you... it was. It was hard. So <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was all. It made for funny Swedish chef shit, though. Oh, I bet. Like Schmergen, I just, Bergen, 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 yeah, yeah, I just started reading, reading that. Bergen, 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 Bergen. Made, it made, made for really funny, but yeah, it was. So I read the book. Hard to the read anything was, scary in that accent, though. It's hard. Very to really... right, right. Here's some Bergen, of the things Bergen, that they kind of that they gloss over in the. Uh, in in the in the film version okay which is fine it's they were the i saw the swedish one it was fucking incredible like, i've never read the book so i don't know anything about the actual ellie book. ellie rescuing the kid in the swimming pool at the yeah. end i great mean great scene great oh, scene I, I when i read it in the book i'm like i don't know how you can make this as epic and they did it was like god damn they that did. was fucking the, that the swimming pool scene is great is it i, mean, I assume great. it's pretty much the same in the american version it's pretty yeah. similar yeah oh yeah. Fuck. You like, don't want to touch that. That scene was done so well. And I'm only, I mean, I could see the arrogance of an American filmmaker going, right. I'll I mean, make that it matter. I'll show everything. And right. Make it like, Dude, no. when you just see the, you just hear the muffled screaming in the pool, then you just see the one dead body and then the severed yeah. head just drop in yeah. like a fucking and thing of Alka Seltzer. Just, and then the arm. It's a great scene. Fuck. Now, the, scene. the big difference, and I don't think, I, if it's the same thing, then yeah. I think the only thing that I heard they left that Cody had said they left out in the American in the American one is Ellie is a girl like but in the Swedish yeah. version she's a boy who was castrated like 200 years ago remember yeah. that that one shot yeah. but that was the only and what was different in the book boy the book who goes a little crazier her familiar right the guy who's kind of helping her catch motherfuckers yeah. it, yeah, yeah, he's he's a little bit of an Epstein flight log kind of guy. Oh, <laughs> in, oh, in the book. okay. In the book, and um, and kind of cut that out then, yeah. And and he when like when she's feeding on him at the hospital, she he accidentally gets turned, but like he he still falls like he does in the movie, and yeah. like it, it was in the middle of the process, so he just becomes like this mindless zombie vampire who's just hunting her down so they have to deal with him too more in depth in the book oh i see i mean I see. yeah i mean spoiler alert he gets his ass whooped but i, I mean he, i mean so a spoiler alert ellie ellie's not one to fuck with in, in the, no. the the character ellie is not one in to, the movies for sure and i assume in the book as well yeah you don't, you don't really, really you don't want to piss ellie you don't want ellie yeah. on your bad side at all but shit it was fucking good it was like yeah it was on, it was on peak just, just sitting there on peacock i'm like i've read the book for, for i've always been needing to see the fucking movie and you let saw the just watch original it. swedish the swedish the... i still gotta see no, i see the swedish one. i still gotta see let me in the american one i gotta see yeah. that so they're both good. That they're was, both really good. That was yeah. I've got to see that. It was so I can have something positive to hold on to with Matt Reeves as a director. That the two Planet of the Apes <laughs> movies until <laughs> until he makes the Batman and oh. Oh. look the Batmobile turning on was fucking amazing. Yeah. Everything else is just like. Okay. Is the movie better if Ellie's in Gotham and just takes care of everybody before Batman? Then he, can? Oh my God! If she if she fucking and then the takes out every 30, 33 30 seconds minutes. long, yeah, thirty two seconds. Like here, I got this, pal. Have a, Have a seat. Have a seat, Mopey. Have a seat, Rich Mopey kid. Just yeah, relax. sit down. Sit down, Rich Mopey Moperson. Uh. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> I've been alive for two hundred years. I've watched everyone I love die. Go, go yeah, down, I dude. can handle this. You go take take a go you put fuck, more flowers. You whiny, you whiny little bitch. You Just fucking go whiny piece of shit. You <laughs> fucking whiny whiny motherfucker. It now was, oh. what I've been doing since I've been here, my folks every night. Yeah, watch the uh, the 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 man with no name trilogy. The uh, Sergio Leone, tremendous fistful fistful of dollars, few dollars more. And the good, good bad, bad the ugly. ugly. Oh. And I hadn't seen these for years, and Colton finally wanted to see them, so we've been watching 
No, Still hold we, up. Dude, so fucking good. I mean, okay, so first night we watched uh, Fistful of Dollars. Second night, we actually watched the trilogy in the reverse order. Oh, okay. So we watched we watched them in the release order, but I guess t- chronologically, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly comes out is the first, first one, right? Because it happens right. during the Civil War, yes. whereas the other two are post-Civil War right. films. Right, right. Um, so there's just like the, the the soundtrack, uh, Morricone soundtrack. Oh, he's up there with John Williams. I mean, and John Elfman. Williams, of course, Williams, Elfman, Williams, or I would and put, Ennio Morricone. It that dude Elfman's great, but I would I might put Morricone. I Me, mean, Morricone did the thing. Morricone did the thing. Also, I mean, he's that I, dude. He's so fucking good. He's he's so uh, especially yeah. like I mean you have some classic stuff in right in doll and a few dollars more and fistful of dollars but like the good about the ugly that's it's the most iconic western that the the do we we might be the most iconic movie I that mean, it's, but it's, just it's, with the standoff at the end and they're doing and it's just like there's like several the tension different just builds and builds with that music iterations of the music and it's just so. Yeah good and the yeah. way and his use of close-ups oh. and no dialogue hardly i mean i guess you know the ugly talks the whole movie but he's the one who doesn't shut up um, right but right. like you like you don't hear from clint eastwood for like the first 20 30 minutes and it's just like and also everything like, like, like told in the face is so there's good. no i like how it's like they're not in america like they're on some other planet because if you listen to the way they're talking, it's like, oh, he's like, there's like, oh, yeah, he's in Denver, you know, right right, right next to Texas. You know, whatever. It's yeah. just like, it's like, wait, who well, fucking wrote in this? Italy, and they right. had no idea what was going on. That's what I love about it. I love how weird that shit is, where it's just like, wait, yeah. what? Like, It's like a different that. place, a different time. A yes. Different, it's, it's a different oh. timeline. It's insane. And I love how the movies all connect, but it's not the same characters, but it's, right. it, you can right. sort of follow. A, it's... Oh. God, they're great. So good, and it's they're so great. subtle. And and he, he he you would think with a cow with a western, people are like oh, it's just a straight up, straightforward what a western is. But right. It's right. like you can see where you know uh, Tarantino was influenced by this. Oh guy. my god! Every other scene, it, the absolutely. Way of like not spelling stuff out, just planting stuff, planting stuff, and then paying it off later. And you're like, oh fuck, that's why he was doing. So that. that's what good. that was for. So fucking good. Because half the time All you're watching me, like, what's going on? Why is he doing this? This doesn't make right. sense. And then like. Right. 30 minutes later you're like oh okay fuck that's, so wait, that technically whole... technically good the bad and the ugly is the first one time logically and then what's next i believe uh just full just full of dollars and then a few, and then dollars, a few more. dollars more is the last one time i believe works, that's right? yeah. chronologically that's how they go or <laughs> amazing no fistful of dollars then a few dollars more i believe that's how that goes okay look at this man look at that. so fucking that good is... so fucking oh, good man there they, there's not a bad oh it oh and for me, my money, I love those three, but if you want to watch, like, the, to me, the best Sergio Leone Western is Once Upon a Time in the West with Charles That's Bronson. A, yeah, dude. Is and, that the uh, Henry one Ford where, or Henry is that Fonda? The one where, where Fonda's a villain, right? Yeah. And that's the one where, uh, um, <clears throat> when they, like, the, 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 what was it? The guys are going to kill, like, four guys are going to kill Bronson and they yeah. don't have a horse. He's got, and he's got the, he's got the harmonica. Yeah, uh, and, and, and that's the line where, the whole time. where they tell Bronson, like, oh, looks like we're a horse shy. And he goes, no, yeah. you got three too many. And then he kills them all, <laughs> right? That was, isn't that Once Upon a Time? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! That was some good shit. That was, some... have you ever seen One-Eyed Jacks? No. That's the Western Marlon Brando directed and oh. starred in. And it's not bad. It's a oh really? They the Criterion Criterion gave it a thing. Like it's a cri- oh, it's a Criterion. Okay. It's really fucking good. But it has maybe one of the most unintentionally, or maybe it was intentionally funny lines ever. Where yeah, Brando just whoops the shit out of a guy in a bar, <laughs> and he's talking shit, and he goes, "You get up, you big tub of guts." <laughs> I thought that was the funniest thing. When I was a kid, I saw that. Like, you call this you fucking guy. Tub, you, you big, big tub of gut. You big tub of gut. <laughs> it's like something George W. Bush would say trying to be tough. Right. It's tub of guts. You get up, you big you tub get of up, guts. You, you uh, big tub of guts. You, you big deal. You big tub of guts. <laughs> I'm building. Uh, oh, my God. We're, we're, are we're we, we got to lie. We got to lie. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, I just love been... that the future had four runners. The future four had runners. SUV four runners. That's a Tesla. It's like that fucking new Tesla, new shitty Tesla. Because right you, there. you need these in space. Like you have this, yeah, and you're like, no, keep it classic. We need wheels <laughs> when we're keep flying around. Oh, I don't remember anything about the car Voltron. That that came I after the Lion. A... Yeah, but right? when they would play them when they would play them in syndication right. after school. I'd come home and watch yes. them at school. Like three days of the week, you get Lion right. Voltron. And then right. like a Tuesday, Thursday, you would get the car the car, Voltron, the car and you're like, you'd be like, okay. <laughs> like, I right. guess if we it's have kind to. of Voltron, it's kind of Voltron, but definitely not the popular one. Uh, but it I, ain't the I same. think this one, this one may come first. Cause it says on the box, this is Voltron one. Oh yeah. And then the other oh. box does. And the lion Voltron is technically Voltron three. See, we don't know shit about Voltron. We don't know enough about Voltron. To I don't, we you. don't. We can't give you that. You have to take. go to that Voltron podcast. <laughs> Should that be us? Should we Should start we it? Start a Voltron podcast? I think we probably should. It'd Memories of Pidge? What do we call it? The 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 <laughs> Pidge was the only guy I remember. That was like the little nerdy guy, it, right? It it's Pidge. all pink lion on the inside. It's all pink lion on the inside. There, <laughs> there it, is, it is. The Voltron is podcast. It? <laughs> it's all so, pink lion on the inside. Pidge was like a nerdy was, guy. Was, Pidge was the chubby dude, wasn't he? That flew the was yellow nerd. lion. The nerd See, flew the green, green lion. Maybe. Let me Let's look, look this up. up. Look it up. Let's, we're Before we look piss up. people off. But, oh, do you imagine the Voltron stands who oh, are dude. just screaming at us right now? Who are like, you dumb motherfuckers. You don't know anything. You don't know shit about nothing, <clears throat> buddy. You don't know nothing about nothing. So apparently, Lion Vol Lion Force Voltron was yeah. get okay. Here we go. So, God damn it! We just show me the pictures of these fucking people. Sorry, Eddie. I'm I'm very upset. That's okay, that, man. You just can't you just can't give me a fuck. So Pidge was the nerd who was in green. Yeah, Pidge was the green one. So, um, then who else did we have? Fuck. You had the uh, Lance was the the red the leader. Remember? Yeah, but he flew or, the or black the blue. lion. Black That's lion right. was the leader. And That's then you right. had the one dude who was the he left. He flew the blue lion, and he was in blue. But right. then didn't he leave? And then the pink lion, the princess took over and was the pink lion. See, that's a rough one. So, okay. Pidge had the green one. Okay. Keith, uh, commanding officer. Keith had the black one, apparently. So that's Keith. And then Lance was the second in command who pilots a red one. Pidge sure. was the green one. Hunk was the, Hunk. the, Hunk was the yellow lion. Of course. Hunk. And then Princess Allura, um, I think was she the one? Uh, who had the? Uh, she was she. Uh, is she, she the, the pink? pink? Yeah, she has a pink. So she's the pink one, I guess. She's the lower mm -hmm. right leg, and then Sven Holgerson is the original second in command. All right, so there we go. All right, I, but he. I, I think he left. He may have died, but I think he left. I want to say he died. He left. Did they? Did these he... people die? They killed him in Voltron, right? Did they? Did they? I don't was, think they, so. was, they died. Was there finger I think it was very, it was, I think it was very GI Joe esque. Was it G.I. Joe where they just look? We're going to let him be. We're, we, oh my, you got a penis? Look at this. Uh, wait, do we just hold off on segments until we're done? I think you're going to be done with this in like three minutes. Well, I like this because there's like a little action for the cock right there. You That's just right. They just pop that little, thing out. He's gets got a Voltron fly. pussy. He's got a fly. He, can get, he can get Voltron pussy. Or he gets Voltron dick. It gets, that's the pussy. Whatever. We don't judge. We don't, whatever they want to do. Whatever what they, they want to do, do. whatever Voltron wants to do, they do. Voltron can like, have it. However, Voltron I mean, wants it. what? Mike Black had the funniest T-shirt I've ever seen, where it was Voltron standing there, and then there was an extra purple lion that was its dick. <laughs> it was... <laughs> the the forgotten purple lion. <laughs> it was Voltron's dick. It just made the fucking dick. It was great. <laughs> Eddie, you are. All, this is incredible. You're almost done. It this feels is... incredible. I feel good about it. Now, is this all just coming right back to you? It is. It's very, and there's helicopters. I forgot there was helicopters in this world. Whoa, they didn't, well, they so. were just ready to And they all flew through space, run. so I don't know why you would need the helicopter. But remember, all th there was well. three different sections of the of the Voltron 2. There was 
they, they formed three different little sub ships as well as I remember lines. none of this. Oh, I okay. look, I have no memory of Car Voltron, Lion they, Voltron, all day long. They formed didn't three w- little sub ships. Didn't one of the Lion Voltrons get recalled for lead poisoning? Remember that? Poss- probably. There was like a toy. Let me look that up because I think they. Oh, recalled. yeah, the little ones did. The little ones did. Yeah. Yeah, the ones that you didn't put together. The ones that were already yeah. put together. That was this one. I have it right here. Hold on. You still have it? No, no, I didn't have it, but it was this guy. It was the miniature. Yes. These are these are the ones you could build. Right, right. It was, it was where's the, the one? one? That's the one that had the That's, lead that issues. That got recalled. Yeah. That got recalled. I wanted for... this one and I could never get it because they recalled it. Right. I had I that, one, that so but it bad. was gone. Or maybe it's still around. Maybe that's why my mother died, because it was right next to her. And you know what I mean? Stop playing with it. She wouldn't stop playing with it. The lead boy. I don't know. I mean, I'd be a little upset if that's if, if I still have that. I mean, but no, I think it was a different one. I forgot. Oh my god, what are you at right now? Dude, I, this what, was, this came together. What is the what is so the ET? Quick. This I'm, was faster than Devastator, Eddie. Devas, yeah. Well, Devastator for some reason was much more complicated mm. than I think. Wow. And then Look, hold on, we is. gotta. They, and then Uh-oh. you open up the face. Boom. Look at that. Already done. Car Voltron. Assembled. Voltron done. Gets worked by Lion Voltron. I do think. you? Th- but. Oh, same here. Same here. Now, do you think you could get on America's Got Talent doing this? I, think I so. really I think, think so. they just, I think we just could. slap a, con- a a combiner in front of you. Like and then I think how fast you can put it together, I think. I think you could I think you would be I I would pay to see you in Vegas, Eddie, on stage for an hour just putting throwing together combiners. combiners. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Without the instructions. Like that's your first move each time. You pick it you make a show of holding the instruction book yeah. and then ripping it to shred. Look at that. How that. much bigger is Car Voltron compared to Devastator? Well, let's say Car uh, Devastator could fillet. Holy uh, shit! That so the Car Voltron is not on a pedestal or anything right now. No, they are on equal see, I, ground. What I'll do he's, here is I'll just open up the door and then and Devastator. Devastator's can have gonna at. Suck, suck, eat <laughs> Car Voltron's pussy. Just <laughs> eating that, eat out that. Oh, what other that podcast shit. has Devastator? <laughs> has Devastator filleting. eating eating Car Voltron's mm-hmm. pussy? Get that mm-hmm. tongue up in it. Get that tongue up in it, Devastator. Get that tongue up in it. Look at that. That's I... fucking savage, bro. That was fucking savage. savage. Fucking Devastator fucking gets savage. the best blowjobs, bro. Devastator it's gives savage, savage blowjobs. Combiners give them... the best blowjobs. Combiners give savage blowjobs, bro. You just give them enough energy on, and they'll fucking suck your dick all fucking night. Bro. Oh, fuck it. Fucking combiner. The fucking transformer protein? Oh, fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. <laughs> ah! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay. So it's it's time now for the darkest get down to hour. Biz- get down to business here. Yeah, yeah. The darkest hour, Eddie. And we're doing okay. conspiracy theories. Oh. Now, this is tough because there's so many dumb ones. I mean, yeah. I don't know if there's any good ones. I'll, well, I, see, okay. I, used, I used to enjoy. I'll give you one. I used to enjoy. Me too. Theory. But can I tell you the one I enjoyed? My my conspiracy theory, theory enjoyment. Do you know yeah. where the what I thought personally? Okay, and we can, th- this can be debated, but here's where I think okay. conspiracy theories peaked to me. Okay. okay, this was it. Did David Stern make sure the Knicks drafted Patrick Ewing? That's the one. That remember because was yeah. it was the envelope frozen so he could feel the cold? They know was if it was it, cold. Was yeah. it creased? That was the other one. Was it a creased envelope so he knew which one so the Knicks could get Patrick Ewing? Yeah. That's that's my that's there it is. I think now, and see, I think go ahead. No, I I again I love that one too and I was I was I thought that it's it sort of started making a comeback a few years ago when right. people were going no Brett the Hitman Hart was in on the Montreal screw job. That's a great one too. That's because a great one like, too. You're like well, no, that kind of no makes way. sense. Like then you think, well, God, did he really do Vince that big of a solid? Maybe he did. Maybe he Maybe allowed he Vince did. to create the Mister McMahon character on the way out the door. And when the reality probably is that McMahon was like, well, this happened. Everyone thinks I'm a fucking asshole, so let's just run with it. Like right. I'll just be the fucking corporate asshole bad guy. I mean, but, there may have been that situation where like Hitman le- legitimately didn't want to drop the title before he left the WCW in Canada. Right. He wanted to do it the next time in Raw, and McMahon right. was like. 
Well, no, I can't not do that. He's chances. like, well, I'm not. He's like, well, I'm not gonna drop it clean. I can't drop it clean in Canada. And they're like, right. all right. Well, McMahon was like, okay. Well, let's. We got let's, plans for you, pal. Let's do it. Let's do it this way. We'll do it. And he was in, and and he was in on it. Maybe he was in on it. Then. That's. I mean, because before Man on the Moon, everyone thought ever no nobody knew if Kaufman and Lawler were really. It was that Letterman slap looked real. When it so happened, fucking you're like, real. he fucking hates him. Yes. This is like the, yeah, might've been a joke thing, but he really can't stand the guy. Like yeah. that, those were great. The, the, and the problem is this, the second saddest thing about JFK getting murdered is that it opened up the floodgates to all these dumb motherfuckers who think, you know what I mean? Like it, 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 it just, it opened up the, Oh, what's really well, going on? We think it's well, really That's happening. the problem. That's the problem with stuff like the JFK is because it, it's, it sort of splintered and led to this whole thing. And like, everything is everything. controlled now. Right. Everything that happens right. uh, is an act of, is someone controlling right. something and making something. Right. There's no just right. coincidence. There's no just chaos anymore. Things are right. all planned out, which is just if, utter if, bullshit. If a meteor comes and hits us tomorrow, there, five minutes before it lands, someone's going to be blogging about how well this Hillary Clinton, you know, like they're going to fucking be right. right there. Is this the Illuminati trying to wipe us out so they could repopulate with people who oh, just no, the buy conspiracy their product? Would be, the conspiracy would be there is no asteroid getting ready to smack into right. the planet because we live on a flat Earth and it's just a projection used to scare us to buy uh, groceries. This is big Stock bunker. This is big bunker trying to scare you into getting into a bunker by saying there's a meteor coming. This is big bunker. Like, it's so fucking sad and stupid how bad it's like, gotten. Conspiracies how, used to be fun. Just, until they used the to be so much over. fun. Actually, I'll give you a few other ones. Fucking okay. Billy Corgan from the Smashing Pumpkins was Jamie from Small Wonder. That's a great one. Fantastic. M Marilyn Manson was the was older Paul brother, from Belvedere. I also heard that Marilyn Manson was uh, was uh, Paul from the Wonder Years. That was another Marilyn yeah. Manson had two. He was the older brother in Mr. Belvedere, and he was Paul from Wonder Years. And he removed his ribs to suck his own dick. Those are all great. Those are all. And then now it's just it's and don't so, forget the original Paul McCartney died. And Paul the McCartney that, that, that was the album. Beatles. And here's here's the thing. I I a thousand percent believe that the Beatles did that because they were so famous that they couldn't go anywhere. They couldn't do anything. So they started and they always had a dark sense of humor. So I thought, well, let's just yeah. fuck with people. Let's do this for fun. Because John yeah. Lennon in the song Glass Onion sings, here's another clue for you all. The walrus is Paul. I mean, so there's and and then the problem <laughs> is I really think they did that as like a joke for each other. Oh, yeah. Right? They absolutely the did. Then the problem is you leave it to fucking morons and then fucking Charles Manson actually thought he was hearing messages in Beatles songs and went and murdered people. So the Beatles right. were like, no, nah, we didn't put any of that. We were, no, no. I don't know what you're talking we were about. We fucking around. We were just, I don't know what you meant by that. Like, it, it's, That's the it's, problem. You can't have fun anymore because right. idiots take it seriously. They fucking take it. They're so fucking stupid. They take it. So JFK opened the, I mean, like, I okay. So my, okay, can I tell you my dark horses for darkest hours okay. of conspiracy theories? Okay. QAnon's, <laughs> QAnon's, QAnon's up there. <laughs> QAnon's up there. They, I, here's to anyone who believes it, here's the bad news. There's a 0% chance anyone who works for the government has been spilling secrets as long as that guy has supposedly been spilling <laughs> secrets. And is it fucking dead by now? You fucking morons. That's, that's <laughs> number one. Uh, Pete, Pizza Gate's another, that's another rough one. Pizza Gate. Um, oh. but I, 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 dude, I think the, the darkest hour for conspiracy theories personally was it yeah. J, J, JFK Jr. <laughs> was alive bad. and well and was a guy who looked nothing like JFK Jr. <laughs> and that's the guy who was going to become Trump's new running mate and help Trump win. <laughs> These people still believe that These people. I mean, wh where do they, what do you do? If, here's the thing. Let's say you had a cousin who was all in on that shit. What do you tell yeah. them now? 
Like, oh yeah, you still got money on that JFK Jr. thing? You fucking idiot! You still, still got money on that? The VP? What? Oh, it's next. The next time? When no, it's did, next it's time. so it's fucking... always next time. So I think my pick is JFK Jr. being alive and help. He's gonna help Trump take back the presidency. <laughs> Do you have a pick for the? Because JFK was such a, a hardened right winger. So, yes. So for conspiracy theories, I think that's the darkest hour. I think that is the Gary Hogaboom, Steve Ballore, the Chad Hutchinson singing Creed songs with Richmond Flowers in, in a hotel. Right. I think See, for conspiracy theories. Okay. No, the Jim great, Zorn we, era. The Jim Zorn era of the command. Again, Just the, great example. I like what you went. You went with the micro of the. Can you pick the single micro conspiracy to extrapolate and go? This right. was where we hit rock bottom. Right. I right. was gonna. I'm. Ta I'm going at the angle of more of the macro of uh -oh, the God, macro oh, conspiracy. You know, Jim Zorn, of course, was probably the low point in Washington's history. Football. Rich Outside story of George Preston Marshall, not not allowing black people under the team. Outside of that's that, pretty bad. That's your that's darkest. But 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 here's the problem: to go from ever having had Joe Gibbs. To then yeah. going, yeah, Jim, Zorn. Jim Zorn's a good, let's give Jim Zorn that headset. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, to defend Jim Zorn for a second, he was hired as the offensive coordinator before there was a head coach hired, which is just a, an awesome move. Always a mistake. Yes. Let's, yeah. And so no head coach wanted to come into a situation where it's like, oh, I can't hire my own offensive coordinator. So uh, no one would take why the am job. I doing this? Right, right. And then, uh, Snyder went, okay, well, Zorn, you're the head coach then. And then that's and, and, that's I, and that's I'm not even it. knocking the man himself. I'm just knocking the year he had as the head coach. He shouldn't have been the head coach. One of the low point, the one of the lowest yeah. points. But so but what I'm, do you think I'm going macro, like the way Jim Zorn is the low point for Washington, that's because yeah. Dan Snyder took over the team in nineteen ninety nine, and that's the macro, that's the low that's the nexus, that's the low point there. Really so I'm wasn't gonna go the, the invention of the deep state mm. conspiracy. Oh it's an umbrella yeah. for everything that I think has ruined modern oh, yeah. society and most politics is the So does the that does that begin the, with the, the JFK? State. Is that the JFK assassination? That's kind of the I beginning, believe, isn't it? I think you would have to, even though I you know, deep state really hasn't come right. into popularity except for the last right. like, eight 12 years right. where people start saying deep state like there's a secret organization that hides in the shadows that runs everything and controls elections and stuff like that so i, I to me the, the invention of the deep state was the darkest hour i believe for uh, conspiracy one. theories because it ruined it took that the moment that came out it robbed conspiracies of any sort of fun absolutely absolutely now and and like jfk it's sad because it's still a good movie technically yeah but then when you realize that the whole thing is just that guy that Kevin Costner played, whoever that was in real life, probably yeah. was was fucking Tommy Lee Jones's character in real life. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones's character dumped him and he's like, It was these queers who killed Kennedy. Like it was just like that was it. All right then. You tell me my dick don't taste good enough for you. I'm gonna tell everyone you killed JFK, you and all your queer fellas. Yep. That mm. was the only weird thing about it. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> you think the gay mafia <laughs> killed him? Why? Why, the, <laughs> why are they doing it? What, why is the gay mafia killing Kennedy? Well, <laughs> you find out later, oh, Oliver Stone's a complete nut job. Yeah. yeah maybe. That has something Dude, to do his, with it. his son might still have a YouTube series where he had Eisenhower's like great granddaughter on, and she was swearing that there was. <laughs> what? That there's for like 50 years we've had a base on Mars that the UN. Why? My question is why? Why the fuck are we gonna go there and put a base? And if we why? did, why is it why is it a secret? I'd be I'd be day, motherfucker. We're on Mars, bitch. What are you gonna do? We got the moon and we got Mars, motherfucker. We got moon and Mars. Why would they go there? 
Like, what the f- why? Like, look, this is top secret. Okay, we'll have to go talk about it on Mars. <laughs> yeah, it's all like, it's the same stupid shit. Like, why is uh, fucking, oh, Antifa, it was Antifa and BLM at the January 6th. And oh, really? Oh, to stop, one, the, ele- to stop the election. They to won. stop the election. They, 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 they won. They wanted to Nobody go interfere with it. it. So fucking <laughs> dumb. It's like, it's funny how that Green Day thing kind of, I, I wonder if any MAGA dipshits Heard the and like, well, wait, what, what do you mean? So not everyone's on our side, huh? <laughs> like, I really wonder if that because they what? live in such a bubble. You know what I mean? They, it, you just well, like, well, wait, huh? So, well, I guess what? Jesse Waters is full of shit. Not everybody's on our team here. Jesse Waters doesn't speak for everybody. What? Oh, it's weird. It's just fucking. So okay, how do you light the, <laughs> the deep state darkest hour? How do you? What matrix opens oh. that up? That's I, tough. I, is it? I, is it a? Is it tough love? Is it just? Do you have to sit these people down, and just smack them with reason? Do you have to just slap you them can't. with reason? You can't. They you can't. They'll. There's just, no well, reason that goes in. It's. I don't know how I light my darkest hour of the, of the JFK. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I, I think we may have hit a Other darkest than hour. Just, we can't. Uh, um, um, the only thing is, you just take his corpse. Just guys, see. But you by now the it's body. just, a, yeah. By now it's just but a the skeleton. Problem, well, that could be any skeleton. This guy but, that looks nothing like JFK Jr. That's the real deal. Look, he says he is. This guy who looks like but a that's... fucking drummer in a ska band. <laughs> He's the, in, a, in a white ska band. Yeah, that's JFK Jr. You stupid motherfuckers. You stupid, stupid pieces of shit. I don't know if you can oh. light it because every because that's the problem with the deep deep state conspiracy is there's always like a yeah but and there's always they're, a yeah but you they're, can't they're th- they're the junkions of dumb mentality. There's no they just keep facts coming can't back. Get in. They're everywhere. They just keep oh they just keep coming back. Yeah, I don't know if we can fix it either, dude. I don't I don't know if there's a way to light. There's no matrix to light this darkest. You would hour. literally have to somehow. And put a chip into Alex Jones's Jones's head where you could can control okay, what he's. Blah, 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 you would have to make bullshit. Alec Jones the Manchurian candidate for reality. But then even then they'd be like, "Oh well, Alex Jones is compromised. Time to find someone else." But like, there's no one there. Even... But if Alex Jones because they already did that compromise. They already did that. You heard what Alex Jones's lawyer said when he was trying to get his kids. He said it's a character. He said it's an act. In Alex Jones's defense, the guy was like, "Yeah." His lawyer was like, "This is an act. This is yeah, a but character." I think if, if he came out and said it on his stupid right, show, right? They just don't want to believe. Uh, he was trying to do everything he could to save this guy from getting his keep his, keeping his kids. So but I think there, just, if you could was, somehow make Alex Jones a Manchurian candidate for facts and reality, that maybe you may be able to turn the tide at that at some point. But then Tucker would come in. And battle him. Oh, it would be. Oh, it'd and then be, Tucker it, would oh. take over. Yeah, he'd be the new. Oh God, it'd be tough. Um, well, there we go. I don't know if that, you can light is, that darkest hour. That's, I don't think that's a tough one. That's a fuck. That's going to be the one, one that rips our, our reality apart. It is. I know. It just creates battle zone or whatever battle world. That's, it creates. Yeah. Oh, we need a beyonder. Well, we need a beyond now. I had a quick question. Yeah. Do we gumble love this right now? Do we? Are we Ooh. in the mood? Do is, what do you think? We're not well, at the no... point yet where we can just randomly gumble love. So I'm just wondering, do we gumble love? Or are you in the mood for some there's gumble no love? Better, there's wait? no better pick-me-up than a gumble love. Gumble love is driving me mad. It's making me crazy. Gumble love is driving me mad. It's making me crazy. All right, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> what do we got? Benito we got? Mussolini. Oh, Lainey, Lanes, Lanes. I say Lainey. moose, 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 moosey, moose, 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 moosey, moosey. Boy, uh, uh, moosey. Pat Lada moose. created a whole lot of funerals, right? Moose, yeah. moose. Oh, you're behind a whole lot of funerals, aren't uh, you, moose? Interesting uh, uniform you got on there, moose. Uh, <laughs> did you actually serve? Did you actually serve? Did you make that yourself, moose? Moose, is that a, is that a, a lot of medals there? Is that, a, is that a custom job, Moose? Is that, a, is, that a, is that a medal for climbing stairs, Moose? I just love how Gumble doesn't give a fuck. 
<laughs> he doesn't care if he's going to offend him. He's not afraid of anyone sitting across from him. He's just like, yeah, what are you going to fucking do? A, what are you going to fucking is that a, do? Is that a medal for best macaroni oh. and cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of medals there, Moose. Did you, uh, did, you win the, uh, did you win the little boxcar race in your Boy Scout troop there, Moose? Is that what that is, Moose? Well, is that what that was for, Moose? <laughs> <laughs> all right okay murderer of john lennon mark david chapman <laughs> Ooh. Chaps? chaps chaps oh chaps 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 want to do over chaps want to do over chaps you had to do again chaps you had to do it again <laughs> if you had to You're do it again chaps, there, you... face to face with john lennon do you just get the autograph next time you just <laughs> Do you just settle? Do you just settle for the autograph? <laughs> maybe, maybe get a Abbey Road signed. Maybe, Is that what you do maybe, instead? Maybe get maybe. a maybe get maybe get the Meet the Beatles with the cover that maybe. you tear off that you tore yeah. off the here here today and tomorrow. <laughs> That's yesterday today. Maybe tomorrow. That. Maybe Is that, that, that the one you do? You know, instead of shooting them, instead of shooting them and killing them, <laughs> chaps. Uh. <laughs> okay, you ready? Uh huh. <sighs> Robert E. Lee. <laughs> oh. Bob. Bobby. Bob. Bob. Lee. Lee. Bob. Bob. Ease. Ease. Any regrets? Any regrets? Ease. Any regrets? Ease. <laughs> oh, you're still, uh, you're still, you're still sticking with state rights. Ease. <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, you could go back in time, Ease. You go back you're gonna, you're gonna, you had a time machine. Gonna, Please, you had a time machine. You're still gonna still gonna pretend this is about stage rights. Right. <laughs> that this, you're sticking with that one, pal. Sticking with that stop. one. <laughs> All right, Marvin Gay. Ooh. Ooh. Marv. Ooh. Marv's. Marv's. Marv. Vince. 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 Vin. 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 Vince. Hey, Vince. Vince. Got a lot of people in the mood to fuck, don't you? <laughs> Everything's a bad thing. He says <laughs> everything like it's negative. Made a lot of babies, huh, Vince? Made a lot of babies, huh? A lot of babies. A lot of think, overpopulation, uh, fun, huh? Overpopulation. Fun making those babies, Vince. Okay. Have a lot of fun overpopulating the planet, Vince. All right, Vince. Oh, Ru ruining the uh, environment, Vince. Gianni for Sachi. <laughs> Sash, Sash, Sach, Sach, Sachi, Sach. Regret, uh, regret fucking that weirdo, Sash. <laughs> Huh? What'd you do with the lights off next time? <laughs> What'd you do with the lights off? Sachi? Sachi? We we just uh, do us a favor and not fuck that weirdo next time, uh, Sachi? Sachi? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe. Maybe stay home, jerk off. Not maybe every dick is worth off. hunting. Is it every dick worth maybe. hunting, Sachi? <laughs> maybe just stay home and stay home and jerk off, maybe. <laughs> All right. Um. Cobra Laws, big guy, nemesis enforcer. <laughs> oh. Sis, Nymph? sis, 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 sis. Oh, that's the ultimate dig for gums. Sis, sis, uh, kind of, sis, kind of, kind of, so, so, didn't, didn't take slaughter long to get you out of the picture, no. did it, sis? <laughs> <laughs> slaughter kind of handled it pretty quick, there, didn't it, sis? I mean... <laughs> A lot of people think he was the biggest joke for the G.I. Joes. And, uh, yeah, kinda... <laughs> he kind of took you off kind of quick. Huh? He almost got uh, bounced by comic relief. So. <laughs> by, uh, by a crappy marketing ploy. Built up uh, built up the whole film. And then uh, Slaughter just kind of kind of does away with you in about two seconds. Oh, there's this. <laughs> by a guy, you didn't, have to, you didn't have to buy the guy. He was just proofs of purchases. You didn't have to... he just... Well, I think it's a... It was. I mean, I now here's, what I don't understand is uh, your centuries of training and fighting experience, sis, and uh, a tomahawk chop and an elbow drop. <laughs> That's what's gonna bring you by down. a guy who uh, who does fake wrestling. <laughs> Tom tomahawk chop and elbow drop. That's what's bringing you down, sis. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Since no one knows definitively his name, I don't think uh -huh. the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> oh. Zodiac. Zot. So, uh, how'd you know the birthdays? How'd you, uh, <laughs> how'd you know all their birthdays, though? Uh, 
You spare any Virgos? <laughs> you spare any Virgos? <laughs> Sir, one sign you couldn't stand. So, one sign you couldn't stand. Just had a thing against Capricorns. <laughs> <laughs> And lastly, leader of Cobra Law, <laughs> Galobulus. Oh. Lobs? 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 Lobby? Lobs? Lobs? Lobby? Don't know where the uh, snake ends and the human starts, do we there? <laughs> kind, of, oh, kind, of an odd, oh. kind of an odd body. How do, you, lobs, uh, how do you go pee? How do you go pee, Lobs? Where do you, where, where do you, do you pee out of Lobs? How do you pee? <laughs> Do you uh do you shit like a human or a snake, Lob? Which one is it, Lobs? <laughs> is it more of a human shit or a snake shit, Lob? So is there a lady Lobs? You just kind of roll around with her for a little bit and then she's pregnant. Is that what happens, Lob? <laughs> Can she uh, unhinge your jaw, Lob? <laughs> I think what's great in all this is that this is the world in which Brian Gumbel is just interviewing all these people. How would you not watch that show? If tonight on uh, Live with Gumble we have Galobulus, <laughs> leader of Cobra Law. Sit down with uh, sit down with the leader of Cobra Law. Have some discussions with Galobulus. <laughs> <laughs> Gumble oh. Love is driving mm. me mad. Mm. And now our final segment of today's oh. ramble, Eddie. Yeah, Super Nintendo games that should have been oh. this one. Always a classic. J JB of the CBS NFL pre-show morning crew ranks fuckable mo <laughs> <laughs> So I think, so I think, can I give you some, I, okay, okay he, here, here I think are like some 16 bit, maybe not that clean sounding audio that you'll hear in the game. Okay, sure. Right? sure. I'm taking that one in for pay dirt all by myself. <laughs> I think that's a good one. I like that one. That's enough talk. Let's pound some mom pussy. <laughs> now, <laughs> I think, I think you know. Here's what I like. So in between each level, I, I really thought about this, Eddie. Yeah. I think in between each level, the game when you buy it, it comes with a device that lets you like scan pictures of your mom. And then, like, a 16-bit a version of that picture is then put on the screen, and then JB decides if he'd fuck her or not. That's, like, a fun, like, how in Mortal, how in Street Fighter, you wreck the car right. in between matches, you know? Like, I See, I have, a, I have a little bit different take on that. You have that, yeah. I think, what you have, um, to me, you would, you would have the track and field pad, <laughs> right? Okay. And you and you would have all the moms assembled, all the different pictures, and you, right. and you choose a mom, and you go through oh. the obstacle course of fucking jb and then now, this he is in between you. the main game and he tells <laughs> yeah. you how good your mom was at fucking <laughs> so you get on the track pad and you have to do you have to drop to your knees and jump up and drop your knees and jump up and drop your now, knees this, and is jump. Your, Stuff like, your, this would be your mom playing, you're playing as your mom <laughs> Oh, so so your mom doesn't have to, like you can actually no. cover and be your mom if she's like, right. oh, I'm she nervous. has it's it's her yeah. it's her sixteen bit generated face, and you're doing all the motions. You're doing the jump into the bed, the run, the jump into the bed, the run, the jump into the bed, on the on the track and field pad, and you go through all the uh, the Olympics of what it would be like with a night with JB. <laughs> and then everything is your fault, is your mom's fault, according to JB. Like, oh, sorry, came too soon. Try again. <laughs> yes. Couldn't come. I couldn't come. I couldn't climax. I came. I came too soon, or I couldn't hit pay dirt. Out. <laughs> like and so it's just all the neighborhood moms, and there's a ranking of all the neighborhood moms. I like it. And then right. at the end, JB has his leaderboard of the one, two, and three a, you know, metal stand. Do they have like? Do they have actual competitions like the wizard and this like national competitions that they set up? Like, now I think, I now I think the. Well, main... I, think, I think when you get to the metal round, it's JB is right. like, now you got You have to fuck all my friends, <laughs> and that's where you get Howie. Howie Long comes in, Jimmy Johnson with his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think that Terry Bradshaw. <laughs> I think that, that now I think the main game itself, Eddie, I don't think it's that good of a game. I think it was like I think the real draw is the in between levels, you know what I mean? Where you, yeah. have, Where you get but, the you get the fuck Phil Sims. Right, yeah. <laughs> Genetics. <laughs> Genetics. <laughs> Boomers. <laughs> And JB watches and gives notes. <laughs> oh, could have done a lot better on Nancy there. Um, I think the main game though was like just JB, like a 16-bit JB. <laughs> like he's just walking around like a generic downtown. <laughs> like and to justify it being a game, like the only like actual platforming is like there's like newspapers like rolling and he has to jump over them or he'll take damage. <laughs> There's a soda can on the street. He's got to yeah, jump over. Yeah, he's got to jump over or he takes. And then he'll find a kid waiting on his mom to pick him up from yeah, wherever. Okay. And sure. the mom shows up. And if she's hot, then JB tries to fuck her. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. And then and then it's very random. It's like the Friday the 13th game. I picture it. <laughs> like, it's just very random. The You could immediately see the kid or right. you could take forever to find a kid with a hot mom. Right. But like. Right. And I also think the final boss in this game, it's an extremely hot mom, but she mm -hmm. has an aggressively bad smelling vagina and JB has to fight through it in order to make it work. Right. <laughs> we're losing, we're losing, we're losing ground, baby. Like his dick just kind of, <laughs> you, have to you just got to tap A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Over and over. Like over kids and are and just sitting, over. they're just sitting there like putting the controller on the ground. <laughs> One's one's lick, one's breathe, lick, breathe, lick, breathe, lick, breathe. Lick, breathe. <laughs> oh fuck! There it is. I think that's a game that had it come out in like ninety seven, ninety eight. Yeah, worth worth like seven hundred dollars today. Yeah. I really think that's one of those games that everybody slept out of on back when it came I'm not out. Even out talking of box. about. I'm not, right. I'm not talking about. Right. Pristine in the package, sealed with the KB toys. Ooh, forget it. $3,300 minimum. 33 <laughs> There we go. So next mm. Ramble, Ramble 377. We will have a devil's advocate where we defend the WWF era right before the Attitude Era. Okay. We are going to have our game and toy of the week. Um, we're going to ask a hypothetical, Eddie. Yeah. What it. would you rather be seen doing? So you have time to think about this. Okay. Would you rather be seen earnestly rocking out at a Wiggle show? Okay. Or would you rather be seeing seen singing along to every song and knowing every lyric at a Ted Nugent concert? Ooh. <clears throat> and then, Eddie, mm. I'm telling you right now, this yeah. is how this this is how big I think this one's gonna be. Okay. The steel cage is all it's slowly it's already, already starting to lower. It's already <laughs> starting to lower. There's a hush over the crowd. And in one corner, Eddie. We have Judith Light, a.k.a. Angela Bauer from Who's the Boss? Angela. In, in the other corner, we have Meredith Baxter Bernie, a.k.a. Elise Keaton from Family Ties. Oh. There we go. Oh. Who's going to win? Oh. <laughs> early betting line, Meredith Baxter Bernie. <laughs> early betting line. I'm going early. See, I'm, going, I'm going Meredith Baxter. In a I'm account. going the other because these are both bougie chicks. So yeah. they're characters, but I, I'm going to, I'm early betting. I'm going to go, Ju I'm going to go to okay. the flight. I think. Okay. I, okay. Cause she did get into a fist fight in a who's the boss episode. They yeah. go back to Tony's old neighborhood and she fucks up a waitress. That was right. fucked talking. And Meredith Baxter is a flower child. She's, she's, she is a hippie. So she may but, be nonviolent, but, but you, you might have, some, she might have some repressed shit going on. You never know. You never, know. you never she know. You never know. She could be Jenny and Forrest Gump and watch the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so, all right that is <clears throat> there we go <laughs> so, by the way I, I found this out on my stream my retro rocha stream the yeah. other night that um john stamos when he was in his early 20s mm -hmm. was dating a, a woman yeah. and he caught her in bed with tony danza and he told the story and like kelly ripa's and mark's kelly and mark he told oh. the story did he and he was like and and then what I guess the conundrum for him is he said he was heartbroken, but Tony Danza did him a major solid and let 
full house follow who's the boss to help give him a lead in. So, and, and he did say, they asked, did you ever confront him about it? And Stamos is like, no, he's a boxer. I, and I think that's why I think Danza would have mopped the fly. I mean, Oh yeah. Tony Danza would have mopped the floors. <laughs> Stamos is a pretty boy. Yeah, for sure. He, Danza, yeah, yeah. Two, I mean, in two seconds, it's just, it's, it ain't happening. He's getting fucked up. Pops so. the floor up with Danza and finishes on him. And then exactly, like he leaves Danza, the girl low and then finishes on. He Stamos. finishes on on Stamos Danza. So anyway, <laughs> there we go. So Ramble three seventy seven. Mm. Get ready. You know where to find us. You know where to love us. Yeah. Do it. Hey, look at this. Woo! The combiners have been built. Congratulations to Eddie. Record time. Mm. Beautiful job, buddy. We will see you Friday. Are, well, you'll be back, I think, in, in your other studio. No, leaving here tape. uh Thursday. We're gonna keep the studio up until Thursday and then bring it then tear it down. So Oh, so you're you're gonna be in this recording studio. I maybe here. still be here in Arizona in this Crazy. built studio it, that right. looks like my childhood home in Myrtle Beach. And there's still snow right now outside. yes yeah we haven't we haven't run in 24 hours a day that's incredible. the snow machine yeah that's great all right we love you guys stay safe say goodbye to carvultron everybody Bye. Bye.